In this video, I'm going to do a review of Mojo Audio AI, a product by Artflare that's available on Warrior Plus. I'm going to take you guys inside the members area. We're going to talk about Mojo Audio AI. Then we're going to go over the sales funnel. And lastly, I'm going to give you my personal opinion about Mojo Audio AI. So if you're ready, let's dive right in. Before we get started, I've got a quick question for you guys. What is the definition of insanity? Well, the answer is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Well, here you are buying another Warrior Plus product, expecting a different result. Unfortunately, we all know how that story ends. Listen, if you want to discover how to build the foundation for your own $100 per day affiliate marketing business, then I want you to follow these three simple steps. Step number one, click on a link in the description below. Step number two, enter your name, your best email address, and click on the Get Started Immediately button. And step number three, watch the Taking Action Online Fast Track Affiliate Bootcamp. This free bootcamp will show you that building a sustainable and recurring income stream as an affiliate is far more straightforward than you think. So stop the insanity, stop chasing shiny object products, and watch the free Fast Track Affiliate Bootcamp today. All right, guys, so what is Mojo Audio AI all about? Well, according to the sales page, the final boss of AI apps is here. Hmm. World's premier chat GPT-4 open AI powered cloud-based app generates unique high quality music compositions, audios, audiobooks, or podcasts. So this is basically another Warrior Plus product where you can click one button to create this done for you music or audios or audiobooks and things like that. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look at Mojo Audio AI. We're gonna talk about some of the challenges you're gonna face using this software. And then I'm going to tell you the one missing element that you need in order to make this product work for you. So let's go inside and I'll show you around. All right, guys, we're now inside the members area of Mojo Audio AI. This is the JV Access version of this product. Now, should you decide to purchase this product, even after you watch this review, your version may or may not look different. That being said, should you decide to purchase this product, even after you've watched this review, please make sure you check out their tutorial videos. And if you need any help at all, Open up a support disk ticket and hopefully, hopefully they'll get you squared away. And those of you guys who buy Warrior Plus products, you guys know what I'm talking about. But thankfully, thankfully you guys watch this No BS review, the original, the original No BS review, because I'm going to give you alternative viewpoints surrounding these types of products. There are going to be a lot of people out there who are going to be promoting this product. And the only reason why they promote this product is because they want your money. I'm here to give you the alternative viewpoints, something for you to think about before you decide to part with your hard earned money. So guys, there's going to be other no BS reviews out there. This is the original. Remember to subscribe, like this video and follow. All right. So what is this all about? Well, on the sales page, they don't hide it. This is a one button software, push one button, and you're gonna create all this music, audios, audiobooks. They incorporate ChatGPT into the mix. And I've said it many times before, and I'll say it again, everybody is incorporating ChatGPT. They're incorporating this AI element into their software because they know that this is something that you've heard of, and this makes it more mainstream. But the concepts and things that they use in these products or these softwares are exactly the same since I've been doing reviews for the last three, almost going on four years now. I'm going to show you where that chat GPT element resides. And then we're going to talk about the product itself, some of the challenges that you're going to face, things that you need to understand that you have to fully accept. And that's the problem with Warrior Plus is that a lot of you guys come to Fantasy Island, I like to call it Fantasy Island. You come to this place thinking that you are going to spend $17 and you're going to strike it rich. Well, not so fast, my friend, because you're building a real business. So I poke holes in a lot of these softwares because it's the software does not is not responsible for you making a lot of money. It's the hard work that you put into it, the content you produce, 
and like. So now that I'm off my soapbox, let's take a look at Mojo Audio AI. Let's take a look at the music library here and the menu options. And when you're in this music uh, library here, this is where you can download music. You can listen to it. So you got to think about what are you going to be using this music for? Because they're saying that you can sell these on Fiverr, Upwork, Amazon, or anywhere else. So let's take a look at, or take a listen, I should say, at this sound file right here, this 70s B-movie sound file. And that, to me, sounds very much like the theme song to the movie Shaft. There was a movie that came out called Shaft. There's also a TV series back in the day from the 70s. Those of you guys know uh, which one I'm talking about. Who knows if this is copyrighted or not? So in order to use this, if it is indeed copyrighted, then you're going to need some sort of permission to do that. But I'm not a copyright expert. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a lawyer. So your business, your choice, if you want to use it and you want to sell it, you have to face the consequences if there is some sort of penalty. This is the 70s B music. Let's listen to the 80s groove real quick. <laughs> so that sounded a little cheesy to me. But again, that's my video, my, my opinion. And so do you think you can easily sell these? That's the thing. These files... They're nothing special. You probably could end up finding these somewhere in the dark corners of the web and get them for free as well. But again, guys, this is the business model. This is the business model. You're going to be selling files like these. You're going to be able to create businesses on Fiverr and Upwork, create an ebook. And I'm going to show you the uh, chat GPT element that will allow you to create that. But again, Tell you, ask yourself this question, is this something that you really want to do? Do you really want to sell these? Do you think this is something that people want from you? You gotta sell something that people want. That's how you make money. So that's the music library. Let's take a look at the AI content. This is where you're gonna be incorporating or it incorporates the chat GPT for element, which begs the question, why not just get a chat GPT account? like I did, invest in your business. I spend 20 bucks a month on ChatGPT+. Plus. I spend 20 bucks a month on this because I find it so useful and I just love ChatGPT. So I use this, I'm exploring ChatGPT+. Plus. I'm Heck, I'm even gonna create my own course on how do you guys can utilize ChatGPT to start an affiliate marketing business. How you can leverage a tool like this to help do all the legwork for you and streamline it so you can get your business up and running faster. But you still have to learn how to use it. But let's take a look at Mojo Audio AI's AI content generator. So all you're gonna do is click on this to add content. You're gonna give it a title. We'll just call this test content. And you're gonna enter in your keywords. So let's say, let's enter in make money online as a beginner. We'll just use that as the keyword and we're going to save it. And then Mojo Audio AI will come back with a file. So right here, where did it go? Right here, <laughs> online marketing. Here's the result. Let's take a look at it. And this is it. Choose a profitable niche, find relevant affiliate programs. And that's it right here. That's, that's, that's a content. <laughs> So you're going to go on to Fiverr or Upwork or wherever it is, the marketplaces you're going to go, and you're going to put together your profile. You're going to have writing samples. So there's a lot of work involved setting that up, by the way. It's not as easy as just pushing one button. Sure, you get this content, but I could go into ChatGPT. I can get the free account instead of the plus account, which I pay for. And I could do the same thing and get much more robust output. So again, does, is this something that you feel is going to help you make money? Because if it is, then go for it.
go for it, try the product, do it and see if it works for you. But should you buy this product, even after you've watched this review, please make sure you stick with the strategy for at least 6 to 12 months to, to ensure that it works. A lot of you guys, I know because I used to be just like you, will buy these products because they're cheap. You're thinking you're, thinking you're going to strike your rich with this $17 product. And then you only stick with it for a couple of weeks until the next shiny object comes and you buy that. That is the main theme that runs rampant through Warrior Plus, guys. Really, this is the theme. And unless you wake up, unless you wake up and start realizing that you're building a real business and it takes time, it takes hard work, it takes an investment in yourself and the tools that you need to get the job done, you're not going to make any money. You will not make any money. Oh, you may make a sale here or there, but you're not going to make consistent money, which is what most of you guys are here to do. And that's the reason why you need to click on the link below, check out the Fast Track Affiliate Bootcamp. It is going to set your mind right so that you are prepared to start your affiliate marketing business. But this is the content generation part that incorporates AI. This. <laughs> I am not impressed. I'm not impressed. You may be impressed. I am not impressed. So now let's take a look at Generate Music here. And with Generate Music, you can choose from the music library here. So let's go with Easy Listening. So let's generate some music here using Easy Listening. And this is the music. <laughs> Joy Tonight. Let's listen. Let's give it some time to load. It's only 18 seconds. So, Houston, we've got ourselves a problem here. It's not working. You can download it if you want to regenerate some easy listening music. We're going to regenerate, and here it is, liked and shared, 17 seconds. So this is basically... The music library is basically just files that you're pulling. And let's take a look at this liked and shared MP3. See if we can find it in the music library somehow. So we'll take a look at this. We'll type in liked and shared. There it is. There it is. So the generate music portion just allows you to filter the music down based off of category. Nothing special there, guys. So favorites is just that, your favorites. Text to speech, you guys know what this is. This is where you can enter in some text, choose the language output, and you can utilize these files. And supposedly, you can go onto these platforms and sell them. So let's just, just for kicks and giggles, as I like to say, let's give this a test here. And let's use a standard engine. We'll use... Let's listen to this voice right here, Joey. Hi, my name is Joey. I will read any text you type here. Let's choose AI voice and see what we got here. Hi, my name is Joey. Same I will style. read any text you type here. So changing between the two doesn't seem to really do a whole lot. How about Kevin's voice? Hello, my name is Kevin. I will read any text you type here. Sounds a little creepy. Let's go with Matthew. Hi, I'm Matthew. I will read any text you type here. Sounds not bad. So let's type in some text here. Thank you for watching Ken's No BS Review. The original No BS Review. Let's try it with Matthew. And we'll preview it. Thank you for watching Ken's No BS Review. The original No BS Review. Thank you, Matthew. So that's what it sounds like. But again, there are a lot of text-to-speech software out there, guys. So to me, this software, nothing special. You've seen this being promoted on Warrior Plus many times. So guys, the big challenge, though, with setting up a business like this if we go back to the sales page here, 
If you're going to sell anything on Fiverr, Upwork, or any of those types of platforms where you're doing gig work, you're going to have to set up your profile. You're going to have to have samples. You're going to have to deal with customer service. That's the part too, is that if you're going to do this on Fiverr or Upwork, you need to deal with customers. So if you're not comfortable dealing with customers, then definitely being on these platforms is not going to work for you. Because I can tell you that if you set, submit something to them as a finished product, there is a back and forth that goes on. They're going to say, can you edit this? Can you make it sound better? Can you do this and do that? And so that's the part that I know a lot of you guys don't want to deal with. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to be doing any type of eBooks, selling something on Amazon, you saw the output. You saw the output from the AI content. Very, very short. Very short. And so you are going to have to add on to that content. So someone here said, write a blog post on PM Modi, so Prime Minister Modi. So we're going to check out the result here. This is it. This is the blog post. <laughs> is this a blog post? Or is this a photo caption? It looks like more like a photo caption to me, and it stops right here. So you have to continue that. So guys, now that you've seen what Mojo Audio AI is all about and the many challenges you're going to face with a software like this, let's go ahead and talk about the sales funnel. All right, the front end product Mojo Audio AI retails for $16.80. When you exit and turn off the sales page, they're going to offer up a $4 off coupon code, which drops the price down to $12.80. There are nine upsells and nine downsells. You can pause the video check them out for yourselves. As usual, guys, pricing and OTOs are subject to change. So let me give you my final thoughts on Mojo Audio AI. All right, guys, I'll be real quick with this conclusion. I would avoid Mojo Audio AI. The final boss of AI apps is here, really? <laughs> World's premier chat GPT powered cloud-based app, really? <laughs> Were you able to generate unique, high-quality music compositions, audios, audiobooks, or podcasts? The music basically was just files that you were downloading and you're able to filter through their database. You could create the audiobooks if you want. You could create the podcast using those, those uh, AI generated voices. But again, guys, it takes a lot of work to make it sound realistic. Also to the output with their chat GPT-4 powered app wasn't as robust as it should be. And if you guys have ever used chat GPT, you guys know that it can produce some really good output. So with that, guys, again, I would avoid Mojo Audio AI. Put your money back in your pocket and just walk away. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Ken Furukawa from KenFurukawa.com, and I'll see you in my next video.